Hello, back here at the Pilkington building. It's a little bit quieter now because we've had some of the students going off for a tour of campus. Um, but we've uh, which uh, students can come to later on, prospective students, obviously. And at one of those stands is Bridget from the LSSJ School. Bridget, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us a little bit about what LSSJ actually is and what the school does. Well, LSSJ is the uh, Division for uh, Law, uh, Social Sciences and uh, Journalism. Um, I'm part of the social work team, so I'm here today representing the social work program. Um, LSSJ offers quite a range of um, courses here at Medway, um, and as I just mentioned, I'm here for social work. Tell us a bit about those courses on the Medway campus in particular. What is on offer? Well, I can only speak to the ones that we are um, um, uh, part of this morning. So we've got criminal justice, uh, social sciences and social work at our stand. And you're an academic, uh, as, as you were just talking about. Tell us a little bit about your background and your area in particular. Well, I'm an academic in social work, and my background in social work practice has been children and families here in the, uh, in the UK. I've been at the University of Kent since 2017, uh, teaching on the social work programme. Um, some of the modules I, I teach on are social work uh, practice in a multi-agency context, uh, been involved in teaching social policy and research. So you bring a wealth of experience and really valuable experience to the course and that's obviously must, must, must be across all academics and what kind of expertise do the academics um, in your course bring to the table? We have quite a range of expertise. Um, all of our, practi um, our um, colleagues on the social work programme come with um, different areas of specialisms. We have colleagues whose specialism is in law and social work, which is a very good combination to have. We have um, colleagues with international um, experiences, having studied in different countries, uh, such as India, myself, um, Botswana in Africa, Greece, um, but also in terms of practice, um, a lot of our, uh, my colleagues have social work practice uh, in the UK, youth justice, um, you know, um, a range of research areas as well in terms of risk, children and uh, child and protection, uh, children and protection rather. Uh, so you, you really are looking at a, a wide range of, um, of experience within the programme. And a real international outlook there, which is obviously really important and it's something that the university really prides itself on, um, is that international outlook. Um, and also the place itself. How would you describe Medway, uh, the place? I think Medway is a really fantastic place to study. Um, you know, the, the, the campus has such a wonderful vibe um, and, and I think there are so many facilities for students. Um, I think in terms of support, there is very good support for students, um, not just with academic work, but also with perhaps social issues. We've got student support, we've got uh, the wellbeing team. Um, so really a range of activities. Um, you know, the, the, the environment now with students coming back has just brought it all back to life now. It's really good to see um, a, a, a sense of community uh, around. It's good to see students back. It's good to see the interaction, the cafe. So, I, you know, it's, yeah, it's great to, to be back. Yeah, actually stuff face to face and not seeing people on a screen on a, on a computer in a little rectangular box. What's that been like today? What's that vibe been like to actually do face to face chats with prospective students? Well, for me, fantastic. Um, we've had a busy morning, so it's been great to talk to people. Um, and as you say, I think uh, the barriers of being on screen, not being there, um, it, it just cre creates a different, um, a different atmosphere. So yes, it's great to, to have that back. And now we talked a little bit about the experience and everyone mingling and people being back. Um, but employability is obviously a, a really important thing for students to uh, and prospective students to consider where they go into the world of work um, after. Um, on your course, what is that employability like? Is there industry experience available for students? Um, what's the kind of the conversion rate for students when they go into the world of work? Uh, that's a very good question. I think I can speak to um, you know practice experiences uh, as part of our program. So on the social work program we've got two, uh, we offer two uh, opportunities for placements. Um, the first year of, of uh, study on our three-year program is purely here. Um, students are here to learn and build on their theoretical um, uh, teaching. In the second year they have a 70-day placement which is 
um, you know, with um, a range of providers. This can be uh, third sector organisations, voluntary organisations, schools, local authorities. Uh, and then in the final year, it's statutory requirement uh, placements. This is a 100-day placement. So they do get that opportunity to be out on placement while studying, which means they can uh, link the theoretical learnings to, to practice. Um, I can't tell you the precise numbers in terms of conversion rates, but we know that our students do get um, to go on to get jobs um, in, in, in the social work uh, area fairly soon after graduating, and I think it would probably be safe to say within uh, a six-month range of, of, of graduating, students are, are, are getting jobs. It's a really good rate and really important um, as well. Uh, now, obviously, as I mentioned, you're on a stand today, um, so you're answering those questions from prospective students. Um, where can uh, prospective students who may not be here today, where can they go and find out more about the course? On well, offer? they can go onto our website, the university website, and really, if you search for, let's say, social work, um, you will be able to find uh, contact details there for ourselves and what the programme offers. We've also done uh, a short um, filming, of, which I believe is available on, uh, on YouTube, and people can log in there to, to see what we offer. Well, Bridget, you sold the course to me if I was a student. Again, I would definitely sign up. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. And we're going to be talking to uh, many other academics and officials here about the various courses on offer. So stay tuned, and we'll be back in a little bit.